Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. I have another Transformers Titans Return review for you today. This is Deluxe Scourge with Fracas. Um, in the original G1, uh, Scourge was not a headmaster, but he was a target master. Fracas was the name of his target master companion. So I think it's cool that they decided to keep the name, even though they decided to make him a headmaster instead, but it's all pretty neat. So not really much going on on the sides of the packaging here on the bottom. Uh, but taking a look at the back, we have kind of the same uh, colorful side panel here that we've come accustomed to, where it shows the different size classes. And then you have the... I'm not really sure what his alt mode technically is, kind of a saucer or a winged... I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know what you'd call it. It's not really a plane. I mean, it kind of has wings. It's kind of a saucer, I guess. Uh, but here you go. You have robot mode, alt mode, Titan Master, Headmaster there. Um, moving this up, if you'd like to take a look at his bio, I will try to zoom in there. Pretty much just one sentence like we've been getting. Fracas can steal the power of other bots, letting Scourge harness whatever ability suits his sinister plans. So there you go. I think the Headmaster looks pretty neat. So go ahead, we'll get Scourge and Fracas out of the packaging here, and we'll take a closer look. Alright, so here we have Scourge out of the packaging. I think he looks pretty good in his robot mode. Uh, he comes with a card like they all do. Nice little, pretty thick, nice little trading card here. He's got his stats on the back. So pretty cool. But that's, that's all there is. I'm going to put that off to the side. He comes with these two guns. So you have kind of a smaller gun and a larger gun. If you want, you can go ahead and peg this gun into that hole right there. Give him kind of a triple barrel blaster, which I think looks pretty neat. Or if you want to give him a gun in each hand, you can do that too. So you can just go ahead, pop those right in. They're very simple. So it looks pretty good. Some nice firepower there. I'm just going to take him away for the time being. Now you can kind of already see the main QC problem with this figure. He's got bobblehead-itis. And it's not the Headmaster's fault. I'm going to take this out. This joint for the, the swivel is as good as any. And if you put him in someone else, it wouldn't be a problem. It's the, the connection. And I don't know... I mean, the connection is doing what it's supposed to do. It's just that it's like bad engineering or something. I don't know. When you connect this in, it's just not... I'm thinking if they would have just sunk this in, and let me get a little bit closer so you can see what I'm talking about. See how these pieces are kind of raised out? I feel like if they would have sunk it in a little bit, maybe it would be a little bit more snug. But when you pop it in, it just, it moves around because it's not, like it's in there, it's not going to fall out. But it leaves a lot of room to rattle around, which is weird. And it's just the way this connection is. It's just... You know, maybe this needs to be tight or closed. I'm not sure. Um, just a little unfortunate. I mean, it's not... I don't think it ruins the figure for me. I understand how it could for some people. Come on, get the, now it won't get back in there. So you can... Yeah, I mean, you can try some different things, like trying to push the feet down a little bit, or, or maybe do something like that. But he's still going to jiggle around a little bit. It's just because the connection is a little weird. And I don't know why it is that way. It just apparently is that way. But I still think it's a pretty cool figure. As you can see, he is mostly this darker blue with a little bit of light blue. Mostly around the back. Because that is his primary uh, color for his vehicle mode. Um, but I mean, he's got a lot of nice articulation. You've got a ball joint. You've got a rotator and a ball joint in the shoulder. Rotator's kind of here, ball joint's over here. Then you've got a bicep swivel. You've got an elbow joint um, for 90 degrees. Not really any wrist articulation, just they swivel in for the transformation. So that's really it. For some reason, this one keeps liking to go back anytime I move the figure around. But uh, A lot of nice paint on the chest. I like the Decepticon symbol. I like the silver here. Uh, you know, breaks up the blue a little bit, which I appreciate. A little bit here on the shins. It's pretty good. Uh, no waist articulation, but then you've got these joints here in the hip, thigh swivel, pretty much 90 degrees in the elbow, I'm sorry, in the knee, this is his elbow, <laughs> this is his knee, um, and then you've got kind of a little bit here in the ankle, 
not really a lot of play. That's mostly for the transformation. Uh, but I like it, with the exception of the jiggling head, which, again, is not the headmaster's fault. It's the connector's fault. Um, he looks good. I really like him. I like the color scheme. I think they did a good job designing the robot mode. Um, but yeah, I like him a lot. If you take off his headmaster, you push this little piece in. And let me get closer here. Whoop. They did a nice job with the goatee and the big mustache. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, go ahead and transform him into his headmaster mode. Looks pretty good. Just a little bit of paint here on the shins just to break it up. I like the red visor. I think that looks pretty good. So yeah, overall, pretty nice Titan mode. Now his hips are a little weird. Or a little loose, I should say. Not so much in the knee joint, but in the waist joint. And I don't know if that's all of them or just mine. But again, it's not, you know, he'll still stand. It's not a big deal. You can stand him up. And he'll still stand. So, that's the important thing in my mind. Because most of the time you're probably going to have him in a canopy, or a cockpit I should say, or on his head. So if you transform it back, pull this little piece out, and then pop him back in. Yeah, the, it's just the connector. The connector is really strange for Scourge. I don't know why. All the other ones are perfectly fine. But his is weird and makes it jiggle. So it's a bit of a bummer. But overall, I think the RoboMed is pretty good. We'll move on to the transformation. Alright, the transformation is pretty simple. You're going to go ahead and pop the head off. You're going to fold the hands or wrists into the forearms like that. Straighten them out. Now, you're going to see there's... It's going to be kind of hard to see, but... There is a little tab right here, or I should say a slot for a tab right there. So, and there's a little tab in his armpit. Right there, you can kind of see it. So you're going to push this up, and then it's going to tab into that spot, and so that way they'll tab directly against his body. So you can get them nice and tight in like that. Very simple there. You're going to come down here, and you're going to just push these forward. These will collapse into the larger ones. As you can see, his heels really are kind of bigger than his feet. So the heels will come down, and then the feet will go into the heels. And there you go. You're actually going to grab onto the hips and pull this whole section straight down, just like that. And then you're going to rotate it 180 degrees. Then you're going to come around to this side and open these panels up, the shin panels, just like that. And then you're going to kind of have to rotate this around. Make sure these shin panels rotate all the way around. Because unfortunately they're just going to sit back there and we'll take a look at that in a minute. Um, but you're going to want them to look like that. Just rotate it back around. Then you're just going to close this up. And you're going to want to peg these together. Now, before I close these up, you can see there's a little tab. I believe it's right here. See this tab right here? That's going to peg in right to these little slots right there. So after you put it together, you can then kind of push it down to peg in for some stability, which is nice. I really like that. It makes it a little bit firmer. So you got a real nice Decepticon symbol right there. I like the colors going on here with the light, the teal, and the dark blue. Uh, then you're going to come around to here, and you're going to see there's a tab here and a tab here. And they're going to peg into this slot here and then the slot here on his kind of shoulder pad. So you're just going to peg all that in. Do the same with the other one. And there we go. Can be a little finicky, but you'll get it. Uh, so there you go. You pretty much have the, again, I don't know, saucer mode, for lack of a better term. Um, I really do like this mode, with the exception of these panels. And I just feel like it was lazy to leave them on the bottom. They don't even really peg in. I mean, maybe you could pretend they're kind of like a, a grabber claw if you wanted to come by and grab a Titan Master with them or something like that. So you could kind of repurpose them. But it almost kind of makes it look like they're skis, like this is going to be some kind of watercraft. Um, and you could pretend that too if you like. You can take this gun and plug it into the peg hole up here to give it kind of a more G1 look for his vehicle mode. 
So I really do, I like the look of the vehicle mode. It's just these little panels on the bottom. They're just lazy in my opinion. They don't ruin it for me. I still think it's a good vehicle mode, but there probably was a better way. They could have had them tuck inside somehow or 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 just maybe don't have them, maybe have something else in the in the shins. I don't know. I'm not a, a toy engineer, unfortunately. Um, so I don't want to like, you know, poo-poo all over their job, but I just feel like there was probably something else that could have been done. But like I said, it doesn't ruin the vehicle mode for me. It still looks decent. You can take this piece and you can plug it in here if you like. So you can have that on the front. You can plug it in on the side on one of these holes. So that looks okay. Obviously this is the canopy. So you can go ahead and open this. It's a little snug, but you can pop that open very easily. Go ahead and pop Fracas in there. He just drops right in. And then you can close that up. So they did a great job with the canopy. It's very fairly well hidden. But, you know, holds the Titan Master perfectly. I like the color scheme and the paint for sure. I love all the different shades of blue. The Decepticon symbol right here looks fantastic. My really only complaint is the two panels underneath. But they don't ruin it for me. I really don't think they ruin the whole mode. It just it really makes me think of like some kind of watercraft. Like it looked like skis. Uh, but I like that you can mount all the weapons and everything. So I really like that. So I think it's a fairly decent vehicle mode. It's just not the best it could have been. So of course you have that extra bit of functionality with the second gun here where you can go ahead and take that off. Now I've noticed for some reason if you go to put this guy in with his hands down, he doesn't really fit. So you're going to have to raise his hands up. But then once you do that, he fits in perfectly, as you can see. Very nice and snug. Then you can go ahead and take off this gun and plug that in right here so you have the tri blaster again and then that's going to be the turret mode for the titan master which of course can peg into any of the bases or or even larger voyager class leader class um you know titan returns figures or it could even just be wielded like this by a character if you wanted scourge to just hold his gun with the titan master in there he could just have some, maybe maybe this head is on him or a different head is on him and then you have a second titan master you can put in there so lots of possibilities lots of fun ways to play with these which is what i really appreciate so i like that extra little turret functionality there so scourge is not a terrible figure i definitely think he's the weakest out of wave one uh but that, that by no means means he's terrible i just think that with the weird head connector in robot mode, he has a kind of jiggle movement. I mean, just standing there, it's not a problem. But And if you move him around, but if you really shake it, I mean, he's going to jiggle a little bit. Again, it's just it's a weird issue that I feel like they probably could have fixed. And the same thing with the vehicle mode with his uh, shin panels. Again, I feel like it's something if they would have spent a little bit more time, they could have probably fixed. But to me, it's not a deal breaker. I mean, I'm a huge Transformers fan, so I'm probably not the most unbiased you know observer in this situation and i love headmasters but i don't know i i still think it's a fun figure overall yes it has a couple little flaws and if you could only buy one or two of the wave one deluxes i'd obviously recommend you uh hardhead first i think is the best blur and, and skull smasher are both pretty good and then i think this guy is probably the weakest but it doesn't mean he's bad he's just the least best out of four uh We'll have to see what happens in Wave 2. I don't know if there'll be other ones that are better or worse than him. Hopefully better. Um, hopefully they're all amazing from here on. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, but overall, I think this guy's okay. I don't think he's... He's not knocking my socks off. He's not fantastic. But I'm still going to enjoy him. Because uh, like Blur before him, he was a target master previously. And now he's a headmaster. So... I think it's a new inventive spin on the character, and I'm going to have fun with it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like and share this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Deluxe uh, Scourge with Fracas. I'm forgetting his name now. Uh, Deluxe Scourge with Fracas from the Titan Masters Return line, and thanks for watching.